but I was approached to ask if I wanted to take a look at a lead gen platform. Honestly, my first thought was, Great, another expensive solution that doesn't actually generate any leads. I thought that I'd probably throw a few grand into something and I'll watch it disappear, never to be seen again, much like Chris Rock felt, probably after his Oscar speech. Oh. Oh. But actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I was really, really wrong. Bant is a done for you lead generation service that ties in this multi-tiered process from chatbots, social media marketing, banner ad retargeting, and pay-per-click campaigns. It starts from as little as 95 bucks per month and it's a la carte where you can just bolt on various like done for you campaigns right through to their leads and conversions guarantee, which comes to $2,175 per month, which firstly still isn't a huge amount when it comes to a done for you lead generation service. And secondly, I think this is probably the first service service I've ever seen who are happy to offer a guarantee. And I asked Bank to clarify exactly what this guarantee is. And they have confirmed that it is 45 hot leads per quarter. So when a lead does come in, their lead team reads every response and then forwards over any leads who are ready to jump on a call. That is what they clarify as a hot lead. And those go against your 45 guaranteed leads per quarter. And if you don't get those leads, then they'll actually pause your billing until you hit that lead guarantee. Now, this seems nuts. So for an IT business, you can pay $6,525 for 45 leads. So if you are happy to pay $145 for one lead, then this kind of sounds like a no brainer. Now, in reality, your client spend might actually be more like 500 or 1,000 per month. So yeah, that's that's crazy good. To cut to the chase here, and over the last two weeks, my calendar has been filling up with appointments off the back of the work that Ban has done for me. So if you want to sign up with that lead guarantee, then there'll be a link down below where you can get onboarded with them. And so to explain a little bit more about the service and to be able to give you my real world thoughts in this review, I actually had to sign up and become a client of Band, so I can review this from the perspective of actually being a client of theirs. The service itself is applicable to pretty much every business from B2B, B2C, but specifically for this, I am reviewing this from the perspective of an IT and MSP business owner who needs more leads. Don't we all? <laughs> now, I don't sell IT services to clients anymore, but what I do have to sell is my online course and one-to-one -one coaching. So step one, the first thing that happens with any marketing campaign, the thing that will make or break you is defining your target audience, otherwise known as your customer avatar. Now, my avatar is MSP business owners in the UK with less than 50 staff with all of the potential job title combinations for well, you watching this video right now, probably uh, owners, founders, directors, co-directors. Actually, out of interest, could could you let me know in the comments down below what is your official job title because everyone seems to go with something completely different nowadays now as an msp owner your avatar would be very different it could be accountancy firms perhaps with less than 20 people within a 30 mile radius of your location and with job titles of managing directors, finance directors, owners, founders, and so forth. So once you niche down who your target audience is from your campaign, then Bant gets to work. So over the first week of my campaign, they set up a LinkedIn campaign to proactively connect with people who will fell into that target demographic. Now, one thing I will say here is that I hate with a passion those people who just connect and spam you with sales messages on LinkedIn. And that's something that I was really grateful to Bant and their service here because I was able to review their campaign before it went out and I could tweak the messaging that did go out so that that like initial connection message sounded like something I would actually say and to ensure I wasn't gonna annoy them with loads of sales fluff afterwards. Ban also got to work setting up a remarketing campaign with banner ads of, you know, all the usual sizes for Google remarketing. They also worked on a pay-per-click ad set for me, along with an email marketing campaign. And, and actually very impressively here, they created about nine different email campaigns for me. Now they also added an online chat system to my website to pick up any leads from there as well. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that Bant put the work in to begin with to nail the audience for who to target and then to put the campaigns together ready for your launch. And when they did launch, that's when the surprising things started happening for me. Firstly, I got my first lead on the first day of the campaign. And secondly, even after they launched the campaigns, I was still speaking with the team as they worked on you know, tweaking things, improving, trying some additional campaigns with maybe different wording or tweaking the messaging slightly. And for me, my call to action for my campaign was to book a meeting via Calendly and Literally for the last like two or three weeks, I've had my Friday mornings filled up with meetings. So as far as I'm concerned, they did their job because it's of course my job to then convert the lead into, you know, a paid for client, a signing up client, whatever it's gonna be. And as I said before, I'm genuinely 
genuinely surprised at these results. And because of the leads that I had coming in here, I never really even bothered to look at the whole web portal that Bank gives you to track everything that's going on, where you can see the number of leads coming in, where they've come from, and they give you a ton of stats around your leads, like their location, industries, gender, job titles, company sizes, and you can score the leads as they come through just to help teach Bant you know, which leads are good, which leads are bad, so they can then focus on getting you more of those high quality leads instead. So whilst I could go into showing you around the platform, honestly, as a client of Bant's for the past, uh, I think about a month or two, who has used the platform, the best part for me was that it was done for me. You know, I signed up, I had my onboarding call, we identified my target clients, and then they went away to create the campaigns. I then approved the campaigns, they went away to deliver them. If I ever needed anything, I emailed them. If I got a lead that wasn't a good fit, I just forward it to them and they would then block it on their system so it didn't contact them again. But realistically, and, and honestly speaking here, I had leads coming into my inbox pretty much every day and around about 50% of those leads for me were people from my target audience who were interested in buying my course. We did struggle a little bit with targeting, specifically because it's difficult to target MSP owners on LinkedIn, whereas things like you know, accountancy and legal sectors are much more clearly defined in LinkedIn's kind of social platforms. And genuinely, I, I think if we spend a little bit more time around niching that audience, you know, scoring the leads and had the campaigns running for longer so it could learn, then that percentage would have increased too. And if I really wanted to nitpick at things here, then it would actually be that, I mean, I guess there were too many leads, but that's not really a nitpick. More that they, the leads were coming through and I was having to sift through them and just check that, uh, you know, when I say half of them weren't really leads for me, just doing that initial sifting through. And uh, But perhaps that's something they could introduce in future, though it is going to be a challenge because ideally when a lead does come in, you want to respond to it as soon as possible, but there's just some food for thought there. Okay, so let's just set some expectations here. Now, I've actually just shot a video for my coaching clients today that goes into expectations around what to expect from marketing, like lead generation, and generally how long things will take to actually start working. So I'm just gonna repeat myself now, but if you are spending any kind of money on marketing, whether it's a done for you service like Bant, or whether it's something you do via social media or video marketing or pay-per-click, anything you do, you should be willing to commit for a minimum of three months, I'd say, possibly even six. Don't just try it once and then just think it doesn't work. Why? Well, because the biggest missed opportunity with marketing, and for most businesses, is that consistency wins every time. The longer you stick at something, the better it will perform over time. There's time to learn, to tweak and adapt the campaigns. And particularly when it comes to retargeting, there is just a natural amount of time that it takes from the first visit through to retargeting and then finally a purchase just at the right point in time. Consistency wins over everything else because in the IT industry where we are trying to sell to people who could be you know, midway through a 12 month contract, it does take time. So stay consistent and be patient. And that is actually why this multi-level approach by Bant works so well in my eyes. It gives you a little bit of everything. And whilst perhaps the pay-per-click didn't work as well for me as say, you know, social, for you, it could be the total opposite experience. So my experience of Bant has been pretty positive overall but there is just one thing I want to kind of add to the end for a you know, full disclosure thing here LinkedIn doesn't like automation tools I did run into one issue whilst using Bant where I saw this warning from LinkedIn to say that it had uh, detected some unusual activity on my account and actually specifically said that I shouldn't be using any automation tools which understandably had me a little worried but after actually doing some research actually disconnections like this are more common than than certainly I thought whether you are using automation tools or not there are tons of articles from people discussing this exact problem from people who have just been more active than normal on LinkedIn. So if LinkedIn is definitely something you want to include in your mix, which you should because that's basically where you know the whole business world hangs out, then it is definitely worth considering at least an agency that understands how that works too because they're able to advise me on that. But don't forget that LinkedIn is just only part of what their service takes care of for you. You still have you know email retargeting, pay-per-click and all the other kind of bits. So for those of you who do keep asking me, Pete, I have 2,000 to spend a month on marketing, what should I do with it? This wouldn't actually be a bad option to try and just see how well it works for you. Now again, I'll leave a link down below for anyone interested in signing up. Next, you should go and watch this video about one of the best marketing trends that you are most definitely missing out on. And actually it's the exact reason why Bant approached me about making this video. So go and check that one out next. I'll see you in there. Cheers, bye-bye.